Hi again, uh, here we are and we're going to talk about sketch again. And uh, in the last video I talked about artboards and what how you can use them in a project to organize your, your stuff. Um, this video will talk about pages, okay? So a page in sketch is like a whole nother document, okay? Where artboards, you can see all the artboards side by side. You can't see multiple pages side by side, but your document can have multiple pages in it. Um, Let's give it a try. I'm actually going to uh, close this example here. And um, maybe I won't save it, right? Yeah, we'll close that. And let's imagine we're going to make a new document, OK? So what I want to do is I want to make a new document from a template. And this time, I'm going to choose an iOS UI design, OK? Just to show you another template, right? So I'll choose this one. And what Sketch does is it gives me a whole um, a whole palette of of already drawn or pre-drawn um, UI elements, so we can just drag these and copy them to you know mock up user interfaces that look like iOS stuff, right? So these are all just drawn in Sketch. You could have drawn these, but luckily someone else did it for us. Um, they give us a color palette down here and some bars and some keyboards, so we could pretty much just mock up some simple iOS apps. You know, these are all the kind of standard UI elements in here, right? Okay. So these things are all drawn with this little thing here. This is a, a little icon that represents a symbol. And I'm going to talk about symbols in another video. Um, so these are all symbols, right? So this is all on a page. And it would be kind of a hassle to have all these guys off to the side like this, you know, and then we would do our design over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make another page, right? So this page will contain all of these symbols, and then we'll actually do our, our iOS design in a different page, OK? So pages, if you click on this little button here, um, you can see a list of pages. So this is page one. And then if I, if I click on this one, this is a list of all my symbols, right? And if I want to add a new page, I can click the plus button and get a new page, right? So I'll, I'll call it you know My App. And then I probably need an artboard, right? So, you know, maybe I'll do this. I'll go to Insert, Artboard. And maybe I'm going to do an iPhone 7 sized app. So I'll choose a 7, right? And there's my artboard for my iPhone 7. And then, um, and then I can start building my app in here. So maybe I'll insert a couple of those symbols. I'll use um, Insert. And then I'll go to Symbol. And then all of the symbols are arranged on kind of a menu here. So these are the alert symbols. This is the background bar. This is the bottom bar. Um, cell elements. So these are for like a table view maybe. These are some table view cells that are that they pre-made. Um, here's some elements. I don't know what these are. Um, keyboard, a modal display, a navigation bar. Maybe we need a navigation bar. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll just get the normal navigation bar. And I can click, and there's my nav bar, right? And then maybe we'll add the status bar. So I'll go to Insert, um, Symbols. Um, let's see. Uh, status bar. There we go. We'll get the black status bar, 100%. Right? And then I'll snap that guy up here to the upper corner. Hey, so that's looking like an iOS app. Maybe we'll get the, um, the uh, symbol. We'll go to... Um, Let's see, bottom bar. Let's get a tab bar, right? So I'll put a tab bar in here. Right, so there we go. And I'm starting to mock up my iOS app. And you could just continue with this. And you could draw your own stuff in there. So I can make a rectangle or a circle, you know. Um, you know, and you could just continue designing your app this way, right? You can do all the normal things that you do with Sketch, OK? Um, and you can modify these symbols, too. I'm going to talk about symbols later, OK? But for right now, we're talking about pages, right? So, so let's say I mock up my app, and it's got this screen here, and maybe it's got another screen. So if I want to create another screen for my app, I'll go to Insert, Artboard. I'll pull up another iPhone 7-sized artboard. I can give these artboards names. Now, now, all of these artboards are going to be inside this My App page. Okay, so all these guys are in here. So this is artboard number one, artboard number two, and you can give them a name. So maybe this would be like Home Screen. You know, and this is like, you know, um, login screen, right? Everybody's got one of those. Um, and maybe, you know, I can insert some some of these bars, but maybe I'll just I'll just copy this one, right? 
um, click on this artboard and paste. And then I can copy this one at the bottom and I'll click on the artboard here and paste, right? And then maybe I want to insert a um, uh, an alert. I'll do a two button alert box here like this. You know, app name would like you to send notifications. Um, right, but any, anyway, like, you know, I could modify the text of this or, you know, modify it to add some text fields, which I, you know, pretty much just have to draw in sketch, right? So, you know, I could make a text field like that and, you know, maybe there's another one and then, you know, maybe I'll, I'll get rid of the inner fill. You know what I mean? And maybe this could be your username and your password or whatever, right? So, you know, you know what I mean? We could keep drawing with that. Um, but I've got an artboard here for one screen, an artboard for another screen, and then I'm using the symbols to kind of mock up my app. So, you know, it, it, it could take a while, but you could actually just mock up an entire iOS app here and decide what it looks like, right? You could send, export the images and send them to people that you're working with to get, a, you know, feedback on your design. Um, so these are pages. And if you want to go to another page, we can go back to our symbols page. We can go back to the other page up here, right? And if you don't see this little menu, you got to, you got to open it up by clicking the little thing here, right? Okay, so what if you also wanted to design an icon, right? Well, maybe, you know, it might be awkward to have all the icon art in the same page with the um, the screen design. So what we'll do is we'll go to um, up to the pages menu, click the plus button to make a new page, right? Um, I'll scroll there. Let me, I think I can drag this down, right? And I'll call this like icons. And they have a, a template for icons. So um, they actually have a template up here. I, I don't like this template because I always like to draw the biggest, the icon at the largest size and then export it to smaller sizes. But if you choose iOS app icon, you can make a whole new document and it gives you these grids, which are kind of nice. So um, maybe I'll just start with this one here and I'll copy it. And then I'll go back to my other document there. Um, Right, because I got this is my document with my app, and then this is the icons page, and maybe I'll just paste that in here, and then I can design my icon in there, and I have that in a page with all of the you know elements that I put in there, and then I have a page with my app, and then my symbols are organized on another page. So anyway, so that's how you would use pages with Sketch. So you should try that out on your own. Just go in here and do what I did and mock up an iOS app really quickly. Okay, so thanks for watching, um, and then I'll talk about symbols in another video. And more in more detail.